Did you hear? Today's the day. We're going to scrapbook with our calendars. I'm Megan Hepner, creative editor for Creating Keepsakes magazine, and I have two ideas for you using calendars in your scrapbooking. The first, I'm going to just use a basic birthday calendar. If you aren't familiar with these, they don't have specific years on them. Instead, they're printed so that there's a month at the top and then just the numbers down the side and you can fill in the birthdays that coincide with that month. Uh, I loved the letterpress designs on this calendar and knew they would look great on the layout, so I looked at it, the calendar a little differently for purposes other than those which it was created for and made this layout right here. I wanted to document my work trips from the January of this year till June of this year, so the first six months. And I knew this long skinny size would work well for that because first of all you can fit several of these across the layout, but also it's really nice for matting wallet size photos, which I've done on my project. If you look closely you can see that this calendar in its true form is a little bit wider than what I ended up with. That's because I took my trimmer and I just cut off some of the excess so I had a little bit more room to fit more panels across my layout. So don't feel like you can't alter the calendar a little to make it fit your needs. Um, the calendar already has lines on it, love that because I handwrite my journaling so often and that keeps me uh, straight. So I use those lines and added my photo captions working with those. If you look here on April for example, uh, this is a trip, a Creating Keepsakes convention I went to and so I just wrote Creating Keepsakes convention on line number one and then at the bottom of the series of photos I uh, listed the location, so Manchester, New Hampshire. Also if you notice you can see the tattered edge. I just tore the calendar right out of the spiral binding. I like that look. It's kind of popular right now in scrapbooking anyway. Uh, if you'd rather not have an edge sticking out of your page protector because it does go slightly beyond my page, you can just take your trimmer and cut a clean edge and you'll still have the same effect and it's a fun, fun way to document a year or part of a year using a pre-made calendar item. That's a birthday calendar. There's also ideas scrapbooking with your wall calendars. I printed a wall calendar using my iPhoto program and my Mac but you can do the same thing even if you don't have a Mac. Use a photo printing and gift service like Shutterfly or Snapfish, and you can order calendars that have your personalized photos on them. They make amazing gifts, and you can just leave them as that, or if you want to make them really your project and your design, go ahead and grab some of your scrapbook supplies from your stash and decorate right on the calendar, which is what I've done here. I looked for an area wanting a title, even though it's a calendar, I did kind of want a title piece to it, so I tried to find an area within the photo collage with some white space, in other words, space that doesn't have a really important piece to it, like a face or a detail shot. And that happened to be right here. I don't really care about those cupboards behind there, so I just added in my chipboard letters. This is the month November, so I went with thankful. And then you can journal on calendars too, whether you write directly on your photos or down below, or if you want to be a little bit more creative with the way you uh, put down your journaling, you can follow this lead, which is to put little numbers with each image. And if you look closely down here below the main picture, I have what those numbers mean, or the photo captions that go along the length right there. And it is a calendar, so it does function and hang in the home. So I do have special dates on the, the main part of the calendar body right here. You can just write, you know, so-and-so's birthday, or if you want it to be a little bit more scrapbooky and personalized, go ahead and add photos right there. So instead of just putting Pop's birthday, there's my dear old dad and a picture of him and friends, and you don't have to just do birthdays either. Think about occasions and holidays and traditions that you would, that are important to you and your family and what you might have photos of and want photos shown on. So in this case with November, of course, for me Thanksgiving, so I've got a shot of some tasty food down there. And then a fam family tradition for us on Black Friday, we've got to do the shopping and the wrapping. So here's a picture of somebody wrapping some gifts. So it really is just a big scrapbook project if you think about it, even though it is a functional calendar. And I created this one for my home, but I loved it so much I know I'm going to do these next year for family members as gifts. So if you're looking for something that's really going to wow your people on your gift list, think about doing a photo calendar and dressing it up just a little. It doesn't take much time, but it does make a big impact. So mark your calendar. Today's the day to get started.